my patient couldn't understand why she was denied treatment for Lyme disease without a positive test result. This confusion comes from a pivotal moment in Lyme disease testing history. That is the 1994 Dearborn meeting organized by the CDC and the NIH. At this meeting, guidelines were set for interpreting Lyme disease Western blot test with a focus on ensuring the test was highly specific to avoid overdiagnosis. But here's the catch. This emphasis on specificity came at a cost. The strict criteria meant that many true cases, especially in the early stages of Lyme disease, were missed. The two-tier testing system that emerged from these guidelines has become the standard, but it still overlooks a significant number of actual Lyme disease cases. As a result, many patients with clear symptoms are left without the treatment they need because the test didn't pick up their infection.